Question number 10, Dr Kennedy Graham. Thank you, sir. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements? The Right Speaker. Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. Given, given the Prime Minister has said that he wants New Zealand to champion peace between Israel and Palestine, will he condemn the Israeli boarding of the Freedom Flotilla yesterday with two New Zealanders on board? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister? Speaker, no, but I, I will encourage uh, both Israel and Palestine to continue to try and find a peaceful resolution to the problems in Gaza. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. Will the Prime Minister condemn Israel's actions last year on the basis of the recent UN report on war crimes in Gaza, which criticises both sides, but especially Israel, for its excessive use of force in using, quote, huge firepower of 6,000 airstrikes and 50,000 artillery shells? Uh, the right honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. Speaker, I don't think it would be terribly... Uh uh, terribly uh, conducive uh, to uh, the, the good relationship New Zealand enjoys with Israel or Palestine to, uh, to start throwing stones on either side in particular. I, mean, I think the report, uh, as I'm sure the member knows, underlines yet again the inescapable reality that reaching a negotiated and lasting peace agreement is vital for the future wellbeing and prosperity of the people of that region. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. How can New Zealand even attempt to bring peace to the region, as the Foreign Minister has indicated it will, when the Prime Minister is unwilling to condemn Israel's war crimes and illegal blockade of Gaza, a clear indication that New Zealand has surrendered its impartiality. Uh, the well, honor, right speaker, I think it's the opposite. I mean, New Zealand enjoys uh, a good relationship uh, with both Israel and Palestine, one of a relatively small number of countries that do that. Uh, we're not going to resort to megaphone uh, diplomacy. But we do encourage the, both sides to find a credible and constructive way through the issues, and we do think a two-state solution is the right long-term uh, answer to the issues between Israel and Palestine. Question number 11. Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My 